everybody, hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Today I am going to be trying out the Givenchy Photo Perfection Fluid Foundation with SPF 20. I've never done a foundation <laughs> review on this channel before, which is weird because I'm always buying foundation. So this will be the first. I was sent three shades, four, five, and six, but six looks a bit too dark for my skin. So I'm gonna see which works better. I have four, which is perfect vanilla. So let's see how that goes. This foundation has SPF 20 in it. So that means it protects your skin, but at the same time, if you're gonna have camera flashes, then this might create flashback. We'll do a test after I apply it to my face. It has smoothing, moisturizing, and plumping agents to smooth the skin's textures and leave the skin fresh and plump. It also mentions that it is for a normal combination and oily skin. It does not mention dry skin, so if you have dry skin, might not work out for you. It also states that it has a natural finish. So I'm thinking maybe that means that my freckles will still show. We'll see. All right, let's see what this is all about. I'm ready. Are you guys ready? It said to apply with fingertips, but I'm going to use this. I'm gonna do half the face so you can see what half of it looks like. There's my dog drinking. And I forgot to mention, I already prepped my skin earlier. I uh, used the Ordinary Buffet, and then I used some hyaluronic acid and a Kate Somerville Exfoliate Moisturizer. Okay guys, I am, this is beautiful. So far it, it looks like my skin, but it looks better. <laughs> All right, let's apply it to the forehead. This is where, this right here is what I call my mood forehead. So let's cover up half of my mood forehead there. All right, you can see that the redness on my forehead is now gone, but it looks so natural. Guys, this is so beautiful. All right, foundation side, naked side. It takes away the redness, but it still lets like my skin shine through, if that makes sense, and I love that. So if you're looking for something with like super coverage that is gonna take your freckles away and all that, this probably is not the foundation for you, but if you want something that looks like skin, this might do it. I am in love so far. Let's cover up the rest of the face now and then set it with powder and see how it lasts throughout the day. The thing that I like about this pump is that, you know, there are some pumps that you squeeze and it just all comes out, even if you're trying to be real careful about it. Just now, I wanted to get just a tiny bit and it let me get just a tiny bit, so that's a plus in my book. All right, there it is. It is nothing but the foundation. So now I am going to set it with my Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. All right, my face is all done. Right now it is 3.30. I'll check in in the middle of the day around 7.30 and then final results at 11.30. So anyway, I'm excited to see how this holds up. I hope it holds up really well because I love this finish. It is extremely humid here in Houston today, so that might affect the wear a little bit. See you guys soon. All right, I said I was going to check in midway through at 7.30. It is nine o'clock, I'm sorry, um, I was hungry. <laughs> this is what my foundation currently looks like. It is still intact. It is on the shiny side now. Like I said, it is very humid outside. I've gone outside several times to let the dogs out and to go on errands and stuff. So I, I expected a bit of shine. It's not like unbearable shine or anything. I don't know if this ring light reflecting on it is making it look like I'm a puddle of water but uh, that's not really the case. Normally, in normal circumstances, when I'm not reviewing how well this holds up, I would just pat on a little bit more powder and go about my day. I'm just gonna leave it as is and see if it is still there by the end of the day. I'll get a makeup wipe and see just how much of it is left. Um, under my eye, if I like go like this, which I won't in public for any reason. Um, you can see that some of the foundation is kind of in the creases. The foundation still seems to be stuck on everywhere. It's kind of broken apart here on my nose, but I am not gonna knock that against the foundation because I've been blowing my nose all day because my allergies are bad because I'm allergic to my dog's fur and I live with three dogs, so. As for the flashback, um, I did do a flashback test. I turned all the lights off here in the house. I turned the flash on on my phone. And as you can see, there is flashback. 
Did not pass the flashback test, did not think it would since it has SPF in it. Anyway, it's been about five and a half hours and it is still intact. So as far as state power, it has passed the halfway test, halfway and further test. <laughs> anyway, this is what it's like now. See you guys soon. All right, so I just recorded it and I realized that my microphone was not on. Great. At least I only powdered half of my face. This part is powdered now. And as you can see, it looks good as new. It just looks absolutely good as new. I could keep on going with this foundation on my face after doing a good old powder touch up. And that's pretty awesome because I've worn some foundations where even after touching up and stuff, I just look like I just needed to go away. So yeah, I think in my future videos, maybe I'll just go ahead and do a touch up halfway through. What do y'all think? Let me know how you guys like your foundation reviews. I just think that that is something that is going to happen no matter what, in my case at least, because I'm a good old pile of human oils. Here we go. I kind of pat the powder on the rest of my face and this, this is what we are left with. And I gotta say, it still looks pretty dang good. Look at it. And it is still intact. All right, guys, now it comes time to wipe off half of my face so you can see just how much of a difference it is still making at the end of the day. So let's just go ahead and get my makeup eraser right here. As you can see, quite a bit of product has wiped off onto here already. So that means that there's still a lot intact. Can you see that? There is still a lot left. This is incredible. Call me impressed. Wow, there's still a lot left. You can tell the difference. So anyway, this side right here is the no makeup side. This is just 100% my face. And then over here is what we have left after 10 hours. 10 hours and I did not even set it throughout this 10 hours till this very end so we could just see how it looked after setting it and all that. So I am super, super impressed. Oh gosh. You can see my forehead middle redness, which is always there is peeking through, but then where the foundation is, it is still covering it up. So that is half of my face. Let's take care of the rest of it. Just take this all off. My little splotches here are back. The redness around the nose, my nude forehead, and a couple of little dots up here. So yeah, it was definitely still taking care of those little problems. The shine was not a big deal to me because that can be touched up. What can't be touched up with foundation is whenever the oils cause the foundation to break away and start revealing the skin underneath, which in this case, it did not do that, except after 10 hours in like right there in a little bit on the chin where I was going like this throughout the day. So that is incredible. So anyway, just so we remember, here is my face right after application, after five-ish hours, and then after 10 hours. This foundation has definitely made its way into my top favorites. I am so happy. I love whenever I find something that I've just fallen in love with and this is it, this is it right here. So excited. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my foundation review. Feel free to let me know what you would like in future foundation reviews. Since this was my first, I was kind of unsure of what to do with it, <laughs> but I hope you guys did find it helpful. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy, please do thumbs up. Please do subscribe. It helps so much. And until next time, guys, goodbye. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's like a, it's like Two-Face, you know, from Batman. It's like one side has been horribly disfigured. <laughs> and the other side? And the other side is just mediocre. <laughs> it's like one side is porcelain skin, and the other side is potato skin. <laughs> All the potato eyes. <laughs> My dog just fell off the couch. <laughs>